like to show you this set. It's a set from Final Victory. This channel is usually in Polish, so I will see, say a few words in Polish and continue in English. I cześć, witam was. Robię ten film po angielsku, ponieważ jest to zestaw, który dostałem bardzo wcześnie i chciałem się podzielić szerszej publice z tym, czego się spodziewamy. Wiem, że mam zrobić filmik o tym pierwszym tomie komiksu i zrobię go bardzo niedługo, także dostańcie może na chwilkę jeszcze przy tym. Ok, so the set contains three figures, which are uh, masterpiece like versions of uh, uh, Warpath, Brown and uh, and Hopper, <laughs> sorry, I, I forgot for a second. Uh, so uh, for me, masterpiece is mostly scale and how it they fit together. So I am counting them as masterpiece because they are intended uh, for that scale. So this is the box they come in. This is the first product from this company, as far as I know. So the box is nice. It's it's okay. Uh, it shows all the three figures. And the figures and the pictures that were on the internet uh, are of some, I think, older or prototype versions. So I think this is actually photoshopped because uh, this part was white on the promo pictures. This is also a different color. But this is this is basically what you have in the box. And there are some bonus accessories besides those. So uh, and let's see how the, the figures come inside. So inside the figures are in something like this, so it's very uh, similar to Zeta Toys and Toy World, so I wonder if they are uh, somehow connected. So when you open this, this is a very well secured packaging. Uh, the figures come partially transformed like this, and this is a place for the guns, but the guns actually come in a small bag, at least for me. And all the metal parts are protected by this film or foil, so uh, it's really nice. And also the uh, figures come partially transformed to fit, so I like this because uh, uh, personally uh, uh, I don't get a I get a reveal uh, after taking them out, so I have to work a bit to get the the alt mode or the normal form so that that's nice and the i got this from show z store and it was packaged really well and also the box come in the protective foil sleeve like this so this is an always a welcome addition so i will show you the instructions if i can find it okay so so instructions come in a small bag so it's basically a big fold out uh, piece of paper but you also get these collector cards which are extremely thick it's like more than a credit card I think and I got two brown cards so I'm not sure if one of them has an error and this is just a fix but anyway I got two so let's move to the figures so these are the three figures that you get inside without any accessories and I will show you them together with some other figures and then focus on each one. So uh, they are heavy. So that's a, that's very nice. They are, I, I think they are more heavy than cardboards. So th this this warp off is has a lot of metal. So that that's nice. Also, uh, I think those rims are metal. This turret is metal. Those parts here. Are from a, they are cold to the touch, and I think they are metal, but some kind of a different metal. I think it's hard to hard to judge, uh, but they are cold. But this is definitely metal, and in this one the rims are metal, and this the chest is also metal. So the wheels are rubber. So uh, right, I think they are very, they have a very nice parts in them. So they, they are well. Uh, Built from good materials, at least for me. And uh, brown has a working suspension, but uh, one wheel of mine is very stiff, so he doesn't roll very well. Perhaps uh, I did not transform him well uh, because this is I just got them today, so maybe there's a way to unlock this wheel because I know I made them maybe made them spin once. I think at least one of them. Uh, Warpuff has those small wheels here, 
and Hopper rolls very well. So uh, I will show you the G1 versions next to them. So this is G1 Hopper, this is G1 Brown, and this is Warpuff. So uh, the colors are not like G1 figures. So uh, Warpuff for me is better like this. Uh, this green is okay but uh, we will see other colors in other modes and this is a, a different orange so that's how they look with G1 figures and as for other masterpiece figures this is with Optimus Prime and this is with Coolsville so this is basically a cardboard size so I think they they look okay uh, this this scale is fine I think this one I'm I think is okay I think there are some small uh, tracks like this uh, the tank seems a bit small but I did some research and there are very small tanks uh, I think a German made so perhaps he can pass as that kind of a tank so but it all depends on you so let's uh, move to the figures and let's start with Warpath so this is Warpath up close like I said, he has a lot of metal, and I think he is well done. Uh, but the parts, not every part sticks sticks well together, but most of them do, and he is extremely heavy. And the turret, I think, can raise higher than this, but it is very stiff. So slowly, I was able to move it up. So I think it can go more, but. Uh, uh, I don't really need it to go more so it rotates fully the pivot point is in a nice place uh, if you put pull this you have this hinge here that's for transformation but it may work as an additional part uh, he has those two parts opening here they're more for robot mode I think but they they can work for some uh, as a some kind of a tank smoke screen I guess and uh, he has those small wheels this is the underside and he has a post here for a gun and this is the gun and it can slide in here and it can go all the way move this to the side but it's it's very stiff inside so this is how he looks with the gun i won't be using this gun probably don't think in either mode but it is here to show you and this whole part like I said is metal and it's uh, painted and it really looks I mean those parts are plastic but this is metal it really get, gives this kind of a metal armor kind of feeling so it's nice for warp, warp off as for the scale I don't mind the scale and I thought that he would look more toy like but he actually kind of looks like a very cool tank. I don't have any other Warpath with me besides this one on similar scale. So this is a classic Warpath. So this is how they look together. And so let's move into the transformation. So transformation is uh, very nice. I think. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, um, I think is uh, my favorite. Uh, uh, of those three uh, and the only part that's loose on mine is this panel here that covers the back uh, can like, fl like flip like this easily so perhaps if I force those two parts harder it can lock in better but uh, it's kind of holding but if I think if you push here anyway it will move so that's not a big deal for me but still uh, you should, I thought you should know. So let me move the camera a bit so I have a better angle. So let's begin. The, the arse go out like this. Uh, let's move this to the side. And you can slide everything here. And it has double sliding mechanisms. This goes in in this one. And this goes in this. So the legs are basically done. And as for the arms. I mean, before the arms, let's do something like this. This part slides, and also this part slides. This part is a lot more stiff. 
okay and when we move this to the side and put the fruit back this allows us to this is on the sliding hinge go in here and lock and this locks the turret and also locks the arms I think this is a very uh, easy to to manipulate and very uh, well done engineering decision and the thread disconnects here and slides like this and the hand just slides out like this and uh, this is the fist it was very stiff at first so I had to help myself with some keys uh, and this this is tricky because it it sometimes looks like it could move in this way but it actually moves this way so I was forcing this one too hard and I have a small stress mark but I think it's it looks dangerous, but I don't think it it, it um, damaged the structure in any way. It just just slightly miscolored, and it's not visible in any uh, mode. So this part now revolves around here. This silver thread is a strange material. I'm really wondering what it is because it was cold to the torch, and now it's it's a bit warmer, but still doesn't feel like plastic. So. And this thing probably can plug in here because there is a slot, but it's I won't force it. It probably can do if you manipulate it the right way, maybe if the arm is but I don't mind this like sticking up like this, so I will leave it. For the second arm the operation is the same. Let's maybe move this hand out. This moves here and let's move this like this, this goes, this extends. Okay, so this is this is the second arm. The legs can separate and for the head uh, this panel here opens like this. The head can rise. It is kind of wobbly but it will lock in the end uh, the turret can uh, go in all the way but I prefer just slightly to make it slightly out and uh, you can do it by pushing it with your finger uh, this goes like this and this part makes it so that the head will not collapse and as for the back uh, I think it just goes like like this maybe or or something like okay this goes here I think something like this so it's not visible from the front and it's not very bad from the back so here is Warpath and let's let me extend everything fully so I like him very much I really like the way he turned out so uh, there is a bit, there are a bit pro some, there are some problems with uh, those legs because they, they don't have a lot of flat surface. So he he won't I, because this is very heavy. He won't uh, topple over, but uh, sometimes he does this slight thing like this. So you may have to work a bit to get your pose the way you like it. The joints are stiff, so at least on mine so there shouldn't be any problem with that and as for the looks I really like the way he, he looks uh, he has some nice articulation because of the feet he is very limited but you can achieve some nice poses with him uh, I really wish that there was some other option for the arms I, I don't really mind them and he's just standing but there are some poses for all of those figures that would look a lot better with fists I mean he d does use his turret and it doesn't look very intimidating when his his hands are like this so uh, with his small gun here I mean small it's the biggest of the three but comparing to his turret it is small he looks uh, like this so let's compare him with the G1 version 
So here he is next to the G1 version as you, as you can see. There are some similarities but there are a lot of new ideas so this is the homage done right at least to me. So uh, those two silver parts here can be achieved by opening the same uh, compartments as in tank mode. So he has some maybe missiles, maybe a smoke screen, I don't know, but it does look nice. And let's see how he looks with other masterpiece figures. Uh, one more thing, in the accessories pack there was this small plug here. I am not really sure what it, it is for. Perhaps it's an end of a turret, but I was unable to plug it inside and I did not want to force it, so there's this part in the set also. So here he is next to some masterpiece scale figures. So this is an Takara Optimus, this is a Transformer Rollout Jazz, MMC Clip Jumper, Takara Prowl, Takara Bumblebee and DX9 uh, uh, Power Glide. So I think he scales very well with them, at least to me, because f to me Warpath was smaller than the Carbots in my eyes. I, if you want a bigger one you can always go with Bad Cube, but for me it's very nice. I really like the colors. Uh, I didn't really like the red on this figure, but this red is really nice. So it's it's darker than an, an Autobot logo. I think he is my favorite, but let's see how other figures look. And because we are just getting started. Next is their version of Brown. So as you can see, here he is. Uh, I also like this car mode. Uh, the wheels, unfortunately, on mine have some trouble spinning. The b the the back ones are okay. The front ones are not moving very well. Perhaps if I lose uh, this uh, this screw. Well, you know what? Let's let's try it now. Maybe that will help a bit. So. I have some screwdrivers next to me, so make it the screw a bit loose. And uh, did it help? No. Maybe if I make it stiffer, did it help? No. So maybe there's something misassembled, or maybe it's the rubber pushing against this part here. So, but they do not spin. And uh, I, of course, I added the Autobot logos and. He has working suspension, so that's nice. The front, front, it kind of works as you can see here, but the rims are metal. At least they are very cold to the touch. So I like this mode, and I actually have a comparison for this one. So here is he next to Bat Cube. So Bat Cube Brownie. So if you are wondering if this is a nice uh, figure to change this one. Here are some car mode shots for you. So both of the car modes are okay. I think I prefer this car mode. It just looks looks nicer. This is more the plastic is more precise, I think. But I like the shape of this more. And the the cost of course is a lot less. So this is it. And as for uh, as for G1. Here he is next to a G1 figure, so very cute. A shame that this is not chromed and that the lower side of the bumper is not in color, but I guess you could paint that because the brown is the figure that could use most of the hand adjustments. And as for car boot size, I think he is very nice. And uh, he has some accessories, so in this mode you can attach this drill here, so you can relieve a uh, scene from the G1 episode. He also has this gun, which I think is his, because it's nowhere on the pictures, but I think it is his, and you can plug it here. I think you can force it all the way down, but it is very stiff, and I do not care that much about this, so here it is. And there is one act more accessory that's usable only in uh, robot mode. So let us transform him. 
and actually the transformation is also very nice one thing i do not like is that the windshield is split over here i i do not like this and figures it, it could be done so that only this windshield part is connected to this part here that i will show you so i would wish that the glass wouldn't uh, separate like this and it was connected to the hood but it's not so so i have to live with this but it would be not, not be a big change in the overall uh, project okay so to begin because once you plug him it's it's he's very stiff and secure so i'm not sure which part to start with uh, those uh, glass those uh, windshield parts uh, tend to pop off at least on mine so and i had to shave some plastic because it didn't sit flush, so I just use a scalpel and cut this part in between. Okay, so uh, let's. Go. This part uh, can disconnect. It it's not meant to disconnect, but I will show you why uh, it pops off. But it it's not meant to pop off. It it can be transformed with this part part all the way in, and that I wish. Hmm. Let's open this and I will show you what's wh why this is popping off. This orange part here needs to be pushed all the way. If it is pushed all the way, this part will not, uh, not pop off. I don't know if it was supposed to be glued or the mine. It can be just disconnected. But, but uh, the project does not require it to be disconnected. So let's start with those parts here. So... Like I said, once you plug everything, it's not that easy to start disconnecting. And I'm also afraid that I will scratch this very nice paint here. So I will focus on the underside first. Just to loosen some, some parts here. I think this is holding, yes, this was holding it. Okay, this fell off, so I will reattach this in a second. I will focus to remove this part first. Okay, okay, so this is it. And this is what I'm talking about. This hinge is holding on this part. So once you put this in, and oh, sorry, it's, it's strange for me to do this at this angle, so uh, that's why it's falling off. So I will zoom in. So as you can see, this orange part can disconnect. And you can put some glue to secure it, but uh, basically from the box it's just holding like this, and this thing is pushed. And so I think it's it was not pushed all the way. So maybe if I force it like this, uh, it seems stiff now. So I think that might have been the case. Okay, so. Let's uh, work on the legs. So the legs are like this. You have to rotate the. But before do, doing that, let's let's move the camera a bit. Uh, sorry if I'm making some mistakes, but it's late and I want to get this done uh, before going to sleep. So the arms go out like this. You can now rotate this part to move it slightly off the way out of the way and this now will not rotate you need to push it in like this and then it can rotate so like this this is the head that you could can move uh, by using this part here but it's very stiff so you can help yourself perhaps with this gun it's hard to take out but I will use this. Uh, this is a part that's used on the nails. I got it from a drugstore, I think it's called. So this is this this has a rounded tip, and I think I could maybe grab it like this and kind of push it to the top, because I am not sure what's what's causing it to be stuck. Oh, okay, so it's moving slightly. Okay, so as you can see. Once you get the proper uh, angle, it can rotate. 
Okay, so let's adjust the camera a bit more. And as for the legs, the legs are like this. You rotate this part. Uh, let's move this out of the way. And this goes inside. This is okay. And now the the bow bo halves connect like this. And you have to make sure that this thing here is aligned into this hole. And you will know when it's aligned because it will snap into place. And I cannot see from this angle where it should go. Yeah, okay, so it's like this. And this windshield now can... Uh, let's move this to the side. Okay, And this can now plug in here with also should click I don't know why it's okay so th this has to be moved out of the way so again at this part also there is a heel spur here and I forgot to move but I can help myself with the same tool so it's out of the way sorry if you can see, hear the cats in the back they're being really annoying and the same with this this can move like this align everything here let's let's see if we can do this okay move the fit here this plugs in and a lot of brown is done now you can move this part down the arms extend like this and it's hard to grab the fist but there is a way to push this using this hinge here. Uh, I'm sh not sure how I did it, but if I, I think if you rotate something here, you can push the fist. Oh, okay. So maybe you need to grab by this metal part. But there is a way to force it by sliding this inside. And sometimes it works, sometimes not. But you can also use the sliding metal part here. Oh, see, uh, somehow I pushed this out and now I can grab and pull it further. Okay, so let's push this here and the backpack. This whole thing is once we push this part, it's connected well, so it doesn't, it's not giving us any trouble. Those two parts need to be rotated here. Now, uh, excuse me for a second. Sorry, I had to pacify the cats, so. Uh, the, those two parts now rotate like this and those parts here uh, can now... Uh, th those two need to go down like this and they can now plug into the, to those two parts here so let's... it's not really that hard that I'm making this look but again, I'm trying to show this on the camera and it's not very easy. Okay, and now uh, this actually on the box and in, in, in the in instruction is not clear what to do. But if you do this like this, it collapses very well. So I will do it like this. Okay, like this here and this. Let's move this up or down. Let's move it up. So it's not sticking up from the front so this can plug into the grill those two can hide under it and basically brown is done we just have to rotate the arm and it's right not rotating because this thing is not extended all the way yes because you can see the mushroom peg is not all the way so you have to make sure oh, that it's all the way because if you won't do it, it won't rotate properly. So here is brown. Let's let's clean it up a bit and continue. So here is brown in robot mode, and yes, the grays are not not well done. I mean, the color is not chosen well. I know why it is chosen like this. I will show you later, but it really affects the figure. I think this is a good figure that that 
just needs to be adjusted in so its slight ways. Example, I think this orange plastic is very nice. This metal part is very nice, but when painted, there is a the color is different. And I would really prefer if this was this color, this less vibrant color. And also, uh, as you can see, when it's hard to position his knees so that he is uh, straight. So it's he's leaning up a bit. You can adjust with those heels. So they they are. So this is without the heels. He's leaning back, but if you move them up, he can stand straight. So. I I would wish that it would would not be necessary to adjust him like this, but fortunately there is an option. So so there. Uh, also uh, the legs, as you can see, uh, tend to move sideways. Easy. There is not there is not a secure locking point. It does lock, but not very well. So uh, when positioning him, uh, there are some problems with with this. Uh, I really miss that this cannot rotate up. So this is the windshield part that I told you about and I would wish that it would be still somehow connected here. There is room for it to hide in the back so but it's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so as you can see again he's leaning back if I use those two he has a better stance and the the legs are kind of limited that that's 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 a shame because I would like him to use the legs more. Uh, you do have this hinge here that allows for a white stance like this, something like this. And you can do, because of those two spurs, you can do, oh man, that's stiff, this kind of a pose. But it would really use uh, uh, fists in this, this pose because it's not very intimidating when he has those hands opened like this and from the accessories uh, we have this drill here this gun that I told you about and this thing here and I am not sure how it attaches I think you just have to hold in the arm and use it like this so yeah it works it actually looks nice there's a there, it is detailed and there is a part here that sticks out like this I wonder how they made it and this drill part here can also uh, stick to the fist so that's cool I won't use it ever but it's cool and now when the f hand is collapsed it, it is kind of a pain to get it out I usually uh, use this pump here <laughs> and it allows for me to grab the arm and he has uh, he has this gun so let's put this in his hand and he has a second face that's really cool that it's built in but to do this I mean if this were more loose it wouldn't be a problem but f to to get the leverage that you want you should I mean I need to unplug this so the helmet comes off very easily and it this will make this will make it very easy to paint so I will paint this in some darker gray so this is the head without the helmet and you can rotate the face to have a more angry expression and just move it down like this so let's see how he looks with uh, the other brown that I had, that is a uh, bad cube. So here is final victory brown with the brown from bad cube. So uh, these are different approaches. Uh, you can see how they look together. For me personally, I do prefer the this shape more, but I do like those colors more. So I think if he would have colors like this will be for me a winner but like this I will be keeping this one on the shelf and this one will be sold because I think I have I can paint this one to the colors I want but um, I obviously won't uh, be able to change this one's shape so that's how they look together and 
this one uh, the the feet give you more options but like i said i i like this shape more so let's see how he looks with his g1 self and some other transformers okay so let's move him to the front give so let's give us some more room, move him to the front and start putting in other figures, so... Whoa, okay, Prime is very big next to him, but he should be, so he should be. So here is Brown, here is Bumblebee, here is Power Glide, here is SXX Gears, and let's put in some bigger bots, here is uh, Spinout. Here is uh, Blue Jack. So uh, right now he's standing a bit to the front, but if I move him back, you can see how he scales with some carbots. So he's a bit taller than Power Glide, and okay, stand. And as for Wheel Jack. I think his the scale is okay between them. Bumblebee does seem a bit small next to him, but all depends on how you see Bumblebee. I think I think it's borderline acceptable. Here is with him with Creep Jumper from MMC. So as long as they're not standing next to each other, I think it's fine. If he is separate separated by one bot or something like this okay so this was brown so here he is next to his G1 self and actually the colors are more the orange is more close than I thought uh, I mean basically the plastic is very close and this is more orangey but, but it's closer than I thought okay moving on to other figures so this is their version of Huffer and just to show you the G1 version it's here so they're kind of similar very cool I think he can pull the Prime trailer so yeah, I have the trailer here so let's see so yeah he can pull his trailer with these so that's cool for some people that's important for it's not a big, big deal for me and here he is with Cubex, so this is a company that's known now as Bad Cube. This is a, their first product. I personally like this product, but it, it had some problems in the factory, so that's how they look together. They look okay. And here is him next to Jazz and Prime. So I think this scale is okay. So for accessories he doesn't have any in this mode, he has guns but I'm not sure if he can hold them. So let's go to transformation. So you can lock those parts here so that they they are secured. I had some problem with this first but you can move them in the position that they are locked so that's okay. He does roll well. The weasel rubber so that's very good. Okay, so let's begin by moving, maybe let's move the hands to the side and move those two panels up. Okay, okay and can we extend the legs? Maybe, uh, maybe let's move this arm to the side and move this panel up. Now let's open those two parts they are metal they are both metal and they can allow you to move the legs like this now you can move this whole thing can move down slightly but I think we have to move this like this maybe if we move the leg the whole this whole section moves slightly but maybe it will be easier later so we can move this thing here no, this needs to be unlocked and this needs to be moved like this okay so now uh, this whole section needs to be unplugged and it's plugging 
in those two places and it's also plugging in to the front so I think this kind of movement is okay so first the front now the back now you can move it and let's you we move this slightly up and now it allows us to move the head up and we can also move the arms and they lock in here we need to slide forward a bit okay and these wheels move into the inside and this will lock here but before we do that let's uh, do the arms because the arms again have this strange sliding mechanism but on this figure I think it's a lot easier to move so I can move it with my nail with no problem so that's good extend this move it like this and now the whole back section can plug into the back okay so here is the version of Huffer and honestly I like it a lot more than I thought I would the biggest downside for me is the head that that's that is a nice head but the face and the helmet they are kind of separate they, they don't seem like they fit together well uh, and he has two faces this is a more neutral face and you can move this back raise the helmet so perhaps in some later versions we could have this those two helmets for brown and him uh, changed so this is another face it doesn't seem like there's a big of a change but uh, up close there is a change visible and I will show that later when I'm showing all the three figures so he has two guns and they both can fit in their ha his hands with the guns in the arms the open arms I'm, are not that visible so he, ha he has this presence so he does look nice he he has nice articulation of the three. I think the the feet can achieve the most, and he really can have some cool action poses. But uh, let's see how he looks with the bad cube, uh, the Cubex version. So here he is next to Cubex. So this was the biggest uh, biggest deal. Uh, so between these two was uh, my biggest uh, not concern but I had to make a decision which one to pick and I thought I would definitely pick this one and right now I am not sure because I really like both of them uh, they are nice everyone uh, each one is nice but they have a different flavor and I had to have to think which flavor would I prefer uh, on my shelf so this is how they look together and let's see how he looks with some other figures again so perhaps you would like him with this brown so this is how he looks with this brown here is bumblebee next to him this is spin out let's move the camera back again optimus prime and uh, that's the Put in side swipe, and this is quick jumper. So this is how he looks with them. Let's get this guy in. So this orange on the camera, it's sticking out a lot more uh, than it is in what I'm seeing with my eyes. So, so I think he looks okay, but of course it's. I'm showing you this so you can judge for yourself. And let's see all three of them. Too. So here are the three of them together, uh, and they look good as a set. Uh, and uh, as you can see, probably this is why the browns colors are like this because they are probably molded those parts together. So uh, that's why it's the same color. 
but uh, they did have some pretty nice gray like in the inside of the shoulders so I really wish that they would use that for both figures they didn't so so I think those two are focused on and brown is got the short end, short stick short end of a stick I think that expression goes I'm not sure uh, but I really wish that he would have fists but they can be slid off easily and I will probably 3D print some fists I will paint this helmet a darker color which I will show on this channel also and probably the forearms maybe we'll see how the helmet goes uh, this can uh, those hands can also be painted silver so this set cost about a hundred dollars so like a thirty something dollars for each of the figures and I'm okay with that because this set you get three figures at one and there is this this nice feeling I don't know how to describe it so if you get something and you've messed around with it and before throwing out the box you inspect the box and you find some some uh, additional accessories or something extra that 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 uh, makes you happy and this is this is uh, this set give give me that feeling of joy let's say because i messed around with this one then i moved to this one and there was there was still something left in the box box for me to discover so for the money i think they are very nice but i thought this was the main selling point for me and i think he is the weakest uh, warpath is the best he is in the middle because uh, i really like uh, cubex uh, this thing i think can be good with some custom work unfortunately the lower legs uh, they kind of mess him up for me because maybe I'm mis mistransforming something, I will have to check. But as it is now, uh, the lower legs don't give me the options that I would want. So, uh, thank you for watching this movie. Uh, like I said, it's very late, but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. So, let's start putting in some other figures to end with the big display. So. Let's move the camera. So let's start putting other figures in. So here is Optimus Prime. Here is Grapple. Let's put in Gandak. Let's mix them actually a bit. So it will be here just so you can see how they it in the crowd so let's move brown to the side let's get side swipe here so there is a bit of red in there uh, let's get jazz over here how's the camera okay let's get spin out to the side and so smart bots this is power glide bumblebee Cliff jumper. So, and I still have some room left, so let's get Will Jack here and the gears. So, as you can see, this is how they look in the larger group. All depends on what you have on your shelf. Uh, for me, I think they fit nicely with everything, and Brown will fit nicely when I'm done with him. So, I hope this gives you some insight on what to expect and also if you would like to visit my channel I have some 3d printed parts that that are available this is a launcher for jazz for example and just I will leave some links in the description if you could visit my eBay uh, and see if there's something that you would like so thank you again for watching this movie and goodbye